Hi guys. Today, yeah, I'm going to be doing a younger kid bookshelf tour. I've basically done this shelf, um, this bookshelf up here, like my middle grade couple YA and just like regular, like this book is just like an adult's book, but then we have a few YA's and then we're all middle grade for the rest of it. But I've never done anything with this bookshelf right here on the channel, so I thought, why not give it a shot? And give it all that I know. To give you a better view of the bookshelf, it's right here. I have a few things in it, so just bear that in mind. And these are all the kids that I would recommend. Books for like kids that are younger, maybe like younger kids like grade. Two to five most of these books, but some of them, if they're made for them, some of them I would rate a little like higher up on that. Like like ranking like I would rate them higher, but they're made for these age groups. Maybe younger. The first book is Bad Kitty's Puppy's Big Day. I honestly find these books absolutely hilarious. They are picture books with like blurbs. And they're just so funny to me. I really enjoy them when I read them. I read them a while ago. And I have three of these kind of books. The Bad Kitty in like the Bad Kitty book series. I have a couple. I have of course Bad Kitty Gets a Bath. And Bad Kitty versus Uncle Murphy. Those books are funny. And I think Alex get a kick out of them. I still get a kick out of them. But I would definitely say, like, the plot line obviously it is for younger kids. Or, like, what they're made for. But, I don't know. That's just me. Next, we have the Disney Fairies series. So this is Silver Mist and the Ladybug Curse. I have the entire series back here. Um... Like, you can't really see it, but it's in there, the whole series of them. And there is one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. And I have the whole series, and these books are, I think they have some pictures in it. But to be honest, some of the plots of these books, probably for older kids to understand. But, like, it was made for younger kids. So a younger kid would probably read it and not fully understand it rather than fully understanding it i would recommend it to younger kids but if you enjoy the like tinkerbell fairies movies and like peter pan and stuff you'd probably enjoy this even if you are older there's a bunch of them that's just one that i pulled out next we have a box set this is the Phidias and Ferb box set. We have in here whoa, a runway hit, a wild surprise, and speed demons. These are all shows. And so if you've seen the show, you've probably seen episodes, but each like book is an episode. And this is the box set of the three. And it was really good. I liked it a lot. I obviously for younger kids but still hilarious still hilarious then I have all of the pocket guides the National Geographic pocket guides to cats and wildlife I'll just pull them out these are for any age you literally just have them and whoa they have the interesting stuff in them. They are literally so hard to open though. Like you literally 
need to crack that spine to even open it this much. I literally am like holding it with all my might right now. And it immediately wants to shot on you. That's crazy, but interesting. All true, so it's more for like everybody, not just one group. Next is Frog Spell. This is the first book in the series. <coughs> like the Frog Spell series. The Frog Spell series is. I've read this book, but I am waiting to get the other one, which is Cauldron Spells. And then that came out in 2013. And then the next one is Ice Spell. That Frog Spell was super good. I really enjoyed it, and I just read this last year. So I would recommend this to older kids as well as younger kids. I think it's interesting if you enjoy a good little fantasy. Next is the Dragon Keepers. This is these these three over here. And the first book is the Dragon in the Sock Drawer. That it's not the whole series right there. I literally have not read the whole series. Please no spoilers. But this book was so funny. I literally loved it. Interesting little fight scenes. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And the rest of them were also super good. I enjoyed all of them. And I'm so excited. I asked for the fourth one for Christmas. We'll see if I get it. Next, I have Spirit Animals, Meetings, and Stories. This book is, of course, for anybody. I just put it down here because it's skinnier. But honestly, this book was so interesting and fun to read. It's all these, like, native or indigenous people and all of, like, the stories, different groups. And it was so interesting. Next, we have Beware Princess Elizabeth. This book is not for younger kids. It is literally made for younger kids. If I was to write it, I would say... Fifth to eighth graders would enjoy this. Because honestly, this book does have a little bit of some questionable stuff in it but it's also all true but it's from princess elizabeth's perspective or queen elizabeth's perspective the first not the second which is so interesting how they made it true but also from your perspective but it does have some true things that happen that might not be appealing to younger children Then we have E.B. White's classic, Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is sad, but it was also so cute and I loved it. And I loved the fact that Wilbur made a friend. So it was sad and I was scared to read it for a long time, but I read it. It was so cute. I literally, it's, it's cute. And I would recommend third graders and up because I was so scared to read this in like the younger grades but when I finally read it I was like oh it's kind of cute it's kind of cute it's not as depressing as I thought it would be but it was slightly depressing next we have a bunch of the rainbow fairies books now these are not all like this is like the main first ever series but I don't think I've ever finished it. But there's like a gem fairy and different ones, like different series. And it goes with. Anyway, then we have some of the like the bigger ones in that series up here, and those are also good. Well, like, I would say for younger kids. But I did read them in grade 5 and I thought they were good. 
Next we have The Eve of Emperor Penguin and Night of the New Magicians. This was a book, the Magic Treehouse books. And of course you gotta love those. First one was the best one though. We were assigned to read it. Next we have School Days According to Humphrey and Summer According to Humphrey. All the According to Humphrey books are so cute and I love them. And I would read them still for younger kids. Then we have the Book of Bad Things. This book says reading level five and on the back it says appeals to fifth to eighth graders and I do agree this book gave me nightmares. It was pretty creepy. But I mean I had to know by the title, but okay. Then we've got Stolen Girl. Also, I loved that book. It was good. It was so good. And I would rate it also for older kids because there's some troubling things that happen in it. Then we have Don't Wear Polka Dot Underwear and Other Lessons I've Learned this book. Obviously, for younger kids. Then we've got Gems and the Giant Peach. Also, this book was hilarious. Gems and the Giant Peach, good book, whatever, classic. Um, Muppets, a junior, the junior novel, good. Um, I have the sixth and eighth book of the Nancy Drew series. A box set of the Wombles, gifted to me. The Wind in the Willows, and then a bunch of the adventures of different animals of different people. Kind of books, they're classics as well. And those books are all in but younger kids, but the Wombles, good for everyone. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my younger kids bookshelf over here. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know 100% if anybody that watches my channel would want to read any of those books, but I would recommend Book of Bad Things and Stolen Girl. Um, like a lot of all of these. I would also recommend Beware Princess Elizabeth and the Dragon Keepers series. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, I gotta study for a science test.